Hopalong Cassidy rode a, a bucking bronco right here. This was the spot where Roy Rogers, in the movies, found Trigger for the first time. And here? And hands across the border. Down this pass right here, Doug, uh, John Wayne rode into an ambush. Right down here. In Westward Ho, in Republic's first picture. Well, this amazing playground of ancient granite is called the Alabama Hills, and they are right at the foot of the tallest mountains in the entire Sierra Nevada. Well, it's a spot that few of us in the Bay Area have ever visited, but almost all of us have seen it. Well, Doug, as you can imagine, you've got movie history everywhere you go here. According to Dave Holland, nearly 400 motion pictures, mostly westerns, have been filmed here since 1920. This is magic land. This is hallowed ground. We're walking where they walked. This is a living museum. It was here, says Dave, that the Lone Ranger got his name. The bad guys are on the tops of the rocks. Right over here somewhere. All circling this whole area. And then when the gunfire is over and the dust has settled and the gun smoke has drifted away, all the rangers are dead. But one. All but one. He was the Lone Ranger. Dave produced a book about movie making in this garden of rounded rocks, complete with maps to specific locations. Dave, am I about in the right spot here for where Hoppy well, was supposed uh, to be? Very close to it. This was a shot from one of the Hopalong Cassidy pictures. He's a big Hopalong Cassidy fan, used to have the outfit and everything. <laughs> Must have played hot. It's really a treat to walk in the footsteps of some of my childhood heroes. And it's really fun scanning the rocks for bad guys. The Alabama Hills have played many roles, not all of them, in the American West. This is going through what we call Bengal Canyon, B-E-N-G-A-L, because uh, Gary Cooper led a British Army patrol through here in Paramount's Lies of a Bengal Lancer. These rocks were cast in several films as what was once India's Khyber Pass. Today you can still see where a shaky bridge in the 1930s classic Gunga Dean was suspended. A bridge that was made to look a thousand feet high. The top of the bridge was about like, like, like so. <laughs> it wasn't know, a thousand feet. In real feet. life. No, it was not a thousand they feet. They fooled us. They did indeed. Don't the movies do that every so often? <laughs> More movie magic took place nearby where stunt doubles for Debbie Reynolds and Robert Preston performed an important scene in How the West Was Won. And this is exactly the spot. You can see this incredible spire right here. Oh, absolutely. Right there. This spire absolutely. hasn't changed a bit. The Alabama hills seem timeless, as do the mountains of the Sierra in whose shadow they repose. Dave helps us appreciate this timeless quality and its usefulness to movie makers. Every October, he puts on a festival, showing films that were shot here and giving tours of key sites. We set up production stills right where the photographer stood 50 years ago, 60 years ago, so that you can look at it and you can say, Agnes, this is the place. That's where they were, right here, just a touch further. And we can be right here, too, living the legends of our celluloid heroes. <laughs> 